Hi everyone, this is Gina with Creative Clinic Center and I'm so glad that you're painting with me today. And what we're gonna do today is this beautiful rustic pumpkin and it has some super cool stuff going on. It has some of this metallic, can you see it shine? I love that. So if, you, if you're painting with me because you received the kit, you should have five colors. And if, you, if you're not working off the kit, use any color that you like that's similar. Uh, sometimes right, uh, right now in the stores, you may not be able to find exactly what you're looking for, so just go with something similar. Within the kit, you should have two brushes, a wide brush and a kind of medium round brush. You also received uh, five colors. There's a turquoise color, a white, a metallic, a dark brown, and a medium brown. And you should have a cup and your napkin. So make sure that cup's filled up with water. If you need to pause at any time during the video, just pause. If I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button or let your guests um, catch up if you have a group of people or if you're just by yourself. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our uh, big brush here. It's the wide one. See, it's narrow on the side, flat when you turn it around. That's the one we're gonna use first. And if you notice on this painting, we have what looks like a striped wallpaper in the back. So you have this kind of white and like a taupe, and a white and a taupe, white taupe, white taupe, kind of like this, you know, kind of beige looking color. So I'm gonna make four stripes. They're kind of wide here, maybe about two inches wide or so. Then I'm gonna make four of them. One, two, three, four. And I'll show you how I mix the color. Now, last time I taught this class, I ended up doing three stripes. So if you accidentally do three stripes, that's okay. Just kind of make it eyeball them, make sure they're somewhat separated. And what I'm going to do to make that light taupe color is I'm going to take some white. And you know what I like to do? I like to just put it right there on, see how much I, I get? Because if you don't put a lot on there, it's just going to get, it's going to be really hard to make it glide across the canvas. So I get white paint and I'm going to get a little bit of this brown, the dark brown, not the medium brown. And I make myself like a taupe color. You can go lighter or darker depending on your taste, but I will say make a decent batch of it. Make a decent batch so you can slide across the canvas here. So I'm gonna make, this is gonna be, and look, I don't need a blush. See, it's okay, no big deal. Have fun with it. And then we're just going to make, and these, remember this is a rustic type of kind of farmhouse, rustic painting. Do not try to make this a perfect line. And then what do I do? One, two. Just kind of, I'm just kind of marking them in here right now. Just mapping out. This is just all wallpaper. Look at that. It doesn't even matter if they're perfectly, you know, aligned. Just get, get a few stripes on there. And it won't really matter how perfect it is because we're gonna put that big pumpkin on there. So it's it's not gonna matter. No one's really going to notice if they're if it's off a bit. See how quickly I laid that in there. I wasn't really trying to make it perfect at all. So you should have something like that. Remember, pause anytime you want to. Uh, have uh, your folks there catch up or yourself. Now in between, I'm gonna put some white, but it's gonna be like a dirty white. And I'm gonna get it that way because I'm not gonna wash my brush out at all. I'm going to just scoop some white and fill in the white areas of the canvas. Everywhere there's a white stripe, I'm gonna fill in. See, so it just gets a little bit dirtier than the white of the canvas because I'm not washing my brush out. And I'm just going back and forth. It's good to have a hair dryer on hand because you're gonna to want to dry this background. If you can't, you just, if you don't have a hair dryer, you'll just pause it and kind of wave, wave the canvas up and down just to get some air to it because it will dry quick. Acrylic paint dries very quick. And this is just acrylic paint from uh, you get Walmart or Michaels, Hobby Lobby. 
craft paints fine, any kind of acrylic craft paint or any acrylic paint at all works. Okay. So now that you have your wallpaper, this old kind of country looking wallpaper in here, like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. Don't, don't worry about it. It's, you want to have some like chalky looking edges where they're a little bit rough. Now I have to make it perfect. Can you see how mine looks? Did, you know, it's, it's a little rough. Um, kind of tighten up those edges there a little bit there. Now I'm going to put a hair dryer on this. Okay. So this would be a good time to pull out that hair dryer and dry. If you need to pause the video, this would be a good time to do it. And I'm going to find my hair dryer. edges here is if it's been scuffed on the floor. Remember this has probably been in some old house, old barn. Uh, it's been kicked around a little bit over the years. So we're going to flick in just a bit of this dark, not the gold, don't look at the, the metallic yet, but this is the dark color. So that dark brown that you have on your plate, first of all, let's wash out that brush. Let's get all this out of here, okay? So you take your cup and just, I usually Go all the way down to the bottom. It really breaks up those uh, the paint out of the bristles. And let's squeeze that off. Get all that all that uh, water out of there because you don't want a drippy paint. Now we're only going to use just a little bit, just so you can kind of knock some of that off of your plate. Get some of that off of there. We just want a little bit of brown on the tip of our brush. And right that edge there, if you can run your finger along that edge, that, that edge of the canvas here, we're just going to flick down a bit. And I'm going to do a close-up so you can see. I'm just flicking down. In some areas, I'm going a little further down. So I'm just dusting the edge. Get a little more paint. So, see how it's very um, random, it's very random how I do it. Some are longer. Some are just right at the tip, some are long. And kind of go into here a little bit too. Just a little bit, just to dirty it up. Just to scuff it up. Don't want a lot of paint on there. This is more of a dry brush technique. It just means there's just not a lot of, not a lot of paint on there. And I'm gonna get a little more on my brown, maybe I'll dirty up the edges a little bit on the sides. Just weather it a bit. Then I turn it around. I'll start doing the same thing here. Get a little more paint. And I'll do the same thing right here. Dirty up those edges just a bit. I'm flicking off of that, that corner edge, right across that edge. I'm just holding my paintbrush right on that, almost like I'm trying to get the paint off my brush on that corner, pulling down. Dirty up just a little, a few areas here. Dirty it up. All right. Now that we've done that, now it's starting to look like an antique uh, feel to it. Now what we want to do is wash that brush out. Dry it off really good. And we're gonna put that pumpkin right in here. And I'm gonna take my white, a lot of white, a lot. 
and I'm just gonna make a big, almost like an egg, but it's gonna be a very, if we want it to take out, we don't want a really tiny little pumpkin in the middle here, we want a big pumpkin. This is, this guy is the, the uh, focal point here. So that means he has to stand out. Or she needs to stand out a little more white. And then just start going up and down and filling that in. Remember, you don't want this perfect. It's a country look. It's an old farmhouse look. So we want it to look a little, uh, little soft on the edges, not, not perfect, a little chalky looking. It doesn't even have to be completely filled in. It doesn't even have to be completely filled in. You can, that's totally fine. Now, if you want to put a little hump on either side of the pumpkin, that's fine. You want to make sure you're leaving room for the stem. So what I did is I just kind of made a little, um, almost like a little M at the top, so it goes down a bit, so I can put my, so I can put my uh, stem in there. So I'll do a little close up. So it's kind of like a little M. Okay. And let's, you want to, I kind of like to make a little extra bump. So you almost have three bumps at the bottom. So that kind of did a bump here, a bump here, and a, try to get that, there you go, and a bump there. So you go like one, two, three. So you have this kind of M shape at the top and a little one, two, three at the bottom. All right, so now what we can do, and again, if you need to pause, so everybody catches up, that's fine. But what I'd like to do now is use some of this beautiful turquoise color. And I have white and, oh, that's pretty. I have white and blue on here. And this is just a very fast kind of going on the grain of the pumpkin. Going on these sections here. See, I'm, not, I'm just kind of blending it in a bit. Don't want to blend it in too much. We want this to look a little bit rough and primitive. So we're just kind of going in the contour. Now the pumpkin grain is up and down. Don't go back and forth. So if you can see how I'm doing this, just leaving a lot of white. like that. If you like more blue, put a little more blue in. If you like a little more white, add, you know, don't add so much blue in there. But it does need to be kind of rough looking like this. But we don't want to see big stripes. We want to kind of soften a bit. Don't overwork it, okay? Now, let's wash our brush out. Dry that off. Let's have some fun here and put in our, oh, and if you want to dry it, this would be a good time to dry it. takes a second. Doesn't have to be perfectly dry. And now let's put, let's put that stem in here. Okay. So that stem, it actually curves a bit and I'm using this brush now. So it has more of a point to it. It's a little rounder. And I'm dipping in that dark brown, not the medium brown, but the dark brown. And I'm going to make a little shape that looks like that. Just your stem, and everyone's stem is gonna look different, and that's totally fine. Just fill that in. Now, what I wanna do is, I don't wanna trace my pumpkin. 
And I don't want you to completely trace it, just certain, see I'm just swooshing around it a bit. We want this to look, oh, you know, put a little, maybe there's little sections in there. We just want a little bit here, we just kind of let it tail off. over here and here, nothing. And if you want to put a couple little, couple little scuff marks in there, that's good too. Kind of dirty it up just a little bit, a little bit of some of those little uh, marks in there. You see, I kind of, I kind of skipped where, and I didn't really go around the whole thing perfectly. brush. I want you to dip back, dip the tip of your, dip the tip of your, uh, your brush here. So you get some paint on the tip of that brush. Let's put some vines in. And I kind of put one on, a, a few on each little quadrant here. So I'm going to just kind of make them curve a bit. And they Y out from each other like when I do my vines, they're like that. They're not straight stick lines. And see, I kind of see that Y? It looks like a Y. It's a good way to make some vines. So they look more natural. You don't want them to look like T's. You don't want them to look like this. You kind of have them Y a bit. So they kind of naturally grow out. And then see how I make a Y there? And maybe there's another one that's coming out this way. You could always make another one come out another little Y. So you could Y's on top of Y's. Like they're growing Y's. And so you don't need a lot. Just a few. Because you want to put leaves on them. Let's see. Let's put a couple here. There. Not too many. You could have one coming out the bottom if you like. And then this is a, kind of a strange little guy that comes out this way. It's almost like a fish hook. So it starts here, curves, and goes into the pumpkin. See that? It starts here, kind of curves down, and then goes into the pumpkin. We're going to put some berries on that. Now, let's make some leaves on our uh, on our vines here. And you're using the same brush, just wash it out, dry it off. Now we're gonna use our lighter, our medium colored brown and some white. So I like to mix the two together. So I'll put some white here and a little bit of brown. Make sure I make enough. Something like that color. And when I use this brush, what I like to do is just, and I'll do a close-up of that, this. What I like to do is at the beginning of the stem, I just kind of push it down like that. It's on its side, see I kind of push my brush. Okay, my battery went dead, so we're picking it back up here. All right, so here we go. We're just pressing. Can you see that? They're very light, but it's one on each side like twins here on each side and I'm just pressing what have one on the top and then as we go down we put them on the sides and they're right there are they're opposite from each other so I press here at the first one and then the other ones I press so I'm just turning my brush we see the pointed end is always going that way going the opposite direction of the uh, branch so if you want to fill those in, you can make them darker brown if you like to. Mine are, mine are pretty light, but you can go, you can go darker if you like. I'm gonna, I darken some of mine up here. So I'm just gonna keep adding. That's darker. I'm gonna go over. 
and you don't have to do every single part of the branch. So over here, I'm going to do a few, and I kind of just go, I just kind of go quickly. I do it, I don't try to paint in every single uh, leaf here. I just, I'm just pressing and making almost like a thumbprint or a fingerprint, which you actually could do that. <laughs> And then I'm gonna put a few here. Don't do that one yet, so. Put a few here. See some I'm just gonna leave blank, like that one, I'm gonna leave blank. Give it a little variety here. And here I'm going to do the same thing. Maybe do a couple here. Maybe, yeah, let's put a couple here. Like that. Now, I'm going to add a little, I'm gonna wash my brush out. So wash that out, dry it off. Then I'm gonna add just a little bit of white, is it white on my brush, to some of these just for some interest. So they're just not brown blobs. So I'm just gonna go over some. You see, I'm, I'm not covering it up completely. Some of these, I'm just, get some more white. Some of these, I'm just gonna put some white on. And since the paint's still wet, it kind of makes a cool little uh, blending and or uh, different, you kind of see the different colors of the white and the brown because they mix a bit but not completely mixed. So see, that's what it looks like plain, and that's what it looks like with a little bit of white on there. And you don't have to do every single petal. Maybe I'll leave a couple out. See here, I left maybe a few of these uh, empty. Maybe only do a couple of these. And come down here and do some, but not all. Gives it some variety. So it has a little slightly messy look to it, and that's good. That's what we're looking for. That's good. Okay, so now, if there's anything that's super wet on your um, painting, let's dry that now. So we're going to put a little cluster of berries and I'm going to use the opposite end of my uh, paintbrush here and I'm going to dip it into the medium brown. See, I'm not going to use, you're using the opposite end, not the bristle part. And I'm just going to make little clusters of berries. So show you up close where I put them. Just little clusters. You don't have to put a lot of them on there. And you have to keep getting more and more paint as you do this because it runs out pretty quick. And here I put like a little cluster, a little cluster of berries here, like that. And then I'm gonna put some, a cluster of them down here. Here. 
I'm going to dry one more time and then we're going to do the uh, metallic. That's the fun part. Okay, let's wash out our big brush and dry it off if it's not already washed and dried. Let's do that. Now let's dip into our metallic paint. I love this metallic. And again, you could, you could use any type of metallic, gold, rose gold, copper. I think this is a uh, rose gold on this, but they're very similar. Now, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did before, just kind of pulling down and kind of dirtying up the edges, but this time I'm using some metallic. You can see it shine. And I don't wanna go over every bit of that brown I put on there, so I'm just gonna randomly put some on, maybe a little bit on the edges, maybe a little, little bit inside the wallpaper itself there. Can you see it shine? And I'll do that over here as well. Put some in here on the wallpaper. Just, you don't have a, you shouldn't have a lot on your brush because you don't want to make big chunky marks. Turn this upside down, do the same thing. And I'm just pulling pulling down randomly, random spots, just pulling, dragging down. Oops, touching that corner edge there and pulling down. Okay, looking good, starting to shine. Start to see the shine on there. All right now, we're gonna use our little brush or a round brush again, I'm gonna wash that off, dry it real good. Dip into that metallic again. And now we're gonna have some fun and just kind of start tracing over. And I'm being a little sloppy about it because this is, this is an old, kind of old time looking painting. And trace over some of your areas. Just kind of be really light about it. Don't try to be really perfect. Maybe just, you know, follow, follow how I'm doing that. Just not trying to be perfect. Because we like it. Ooh, yeah, you can see it shine a little bit better that way. Go around your pumpkin, kind of where the brown was before. And maybe hit some of those areas you didn't hit with the brown on the side of the pumpkin. You could put some more gold in here or whatever metallic you choose there. Put that in there. Oh, you can see it shine now. If you wanted to put any other, you know, you're like, oh, I'd like to dirty this up just a little bit more. You can put some more just using the tip of your brush. So I made that mark right there. You can add a little more, just going, make sure you're going in this direction up and down, not sideways. And you can add a little bit of um, extra detail if you like in there. And I believe that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and you had fun with your friends or even by yourself with some good me time. And uh, please get some more kits and see me on the next video. Take care, bye-bye.